Hi, in this video, we will be solving some examples which are based on the concept of highest common factor or HCF. So let us see example one. Find the greatest number that will divide 76, 114 and 152 leaving remainder of 2, 3 and 4 respectively. Let us see how we solve this question. So we need to find the greatest number which will divide which number? Which will divide the number 76 minus 2 which is 74. Because when that greatest number divides 76, it leaves a remainder of 2. This means that the number that is exactly divisible by that greatest number is 74. Or 111 which is the second number. And the third number that is exactly divisible by the greatest number which we have to find out will be 148 which will be 152 minus the remainder. So the greatest number that will divide is nothing but your greatest or the highest common factor. A factor is a number that divides the given number completely. So the highest common factor among the three should be the greatest number which will divide all the three numbers. So let us try to find out the HCF of 74, 111 and 148. So I'll try to find out the HCF of 74, 111 and 148 by prime factorization. I'll prime factorize 74. So 2, 37, sir. 37 is a prime number. So 37, 1, sir. 111 goes by 3. 3, 3 is a 9. 3, 7 is a 21. And again, we get a 37, which is a prime number. And then 148. So 274, sir. 237, sir. And 37, 1, sir. How do we find the HCF by common factor? How do we find the HCF by prime factorization? We write all the three numbers as the product of the prime factors and then we take the common factors. So we see that between 74, 111 and 148, the only common factor is 37 and hence the greatest number or the HCF of these three is 37. So 37 is the greatest number which when divide 76, 114 and 152 will leave a remainder of 2, 3 and 4. So in this question you have to get the numbers which are exactly divisible by 37 and hence from the given numbers you have to subtract their remainders and get the three numbers and then find their HCF to get that greatest number. I hope this example is clear to everyone. Let us see one more word problem. Two vessels contain 104 liters and 91 liters of milk respectively. Find the measure of a bucket of maximum capacity. Maximum, this is our keyword here. Maximum means it is somewhat similar to greatest or highest. Okay, so that's our keyword and that gives us an idea that we might have to find the highest common factor here. So maximum capacity which can measure the milk of either vessel and exact number of times. Okay, so what we do is the first thing is to find the HCF of 104 and 91. Let us try to find it using the long division method. So I will divide 104 by 91. 91 ones are 91. Then I will divide 91 by 13. So 13 sevens are 91. And 13 divisor gives me a remainder of 0. Hence the HCF of 104 and 91 is actually 13. So what do we see? That if we have the measure of bucket which is 13 liters. Then I can fill that bucket how many times? 8 times to fill the vessel of 104 liters and we can fill the bucket 90, uh, 7 times okay to fill the vessel that consists of 91 liters of milk. 
so i hope this question is clear to everyone whenever a word problem come we have to look for keyword which gives us an idea whether we have to find the hcf or the lcm let us see one more example use hcf to show that 357 and 1625 are coprimes what are coprime we know that coprime numbers have no common factor except one means that if the highest common factor of 357 and 1625 is equal to 1 then they are coprimes try to find the hcf of 357 and 1625 i will use prime factorization method here so this divides by 3 119 times then 17 goes 7 times and 7 goes 1 time prime factorize 1625 at 325 65 13 no 1 so 357 factors are 3 into 7 into 17 and 1625 factors are 5 times 5 times 5 times 13 do they have any common factor they do not have any common factor and hence we say that 357 and 1625 are coprimes so i hope these questions which are based on the concept of highest common factor is clear to everyone If you have any doubts regarding these questions, you can send me an email at kirti dot math academy at gmail dot com. This is my YouTube channel Math Academy. If you have liked my videos, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.